Hey, it's Tim here. In 23.3, Tableau have added an interface to add data labels to your data sources. There's definitely quirks about this. This is my fifth attempt at recording this video because every time I record it, I discover a new quirk and I think I've finally figured it all out. I'm gonna explain it all in this video. As ever, let's get stuck in. Okay, so to find this feature, you go to the homepage of Tableau Cloud or Tableau Server. And if you scroll down uh, to the left-hand side here, you can just see over the way down here, you have the option that says data label. So this little box here, if we go ahead and click on that, we get to this new interface. And this is actually quite nice because is there are two new capabilities here. You can not only just add new labels as this button suggests, you can go ahead and type the values, but more importantly, you have the built-in categories that you can add them to, but also custom categories. So this is super important because in some organizations, you might have internal classifications or categories that you want to apply to your data source. And this now gives you the ability to add those in the language that your business speaks. So you can not only add labels that your business users understand, but also categories that everyone in the business will get. You can see here, I've already created two categories. One's called compliance, another one's called custom category. The option to do that is easy to miss. This is the first thing I missed entirely in my first example of this video. So that's the new category option. Go ahead and click on that and that will actually allow you to create a category. So if you go ahead and click on that, it's very simple. You get a category name, a description, and the description just works like all the other formatting setups that you've had for description fields. It's super easy. Once you've done that, that category becomes available here in the custom category. Then you can go ahead and choose that. For example, compliance, go ahead, select the label value and you can enter what you need to and create the new label. Now you can see that I actually already done this. If you go over here to the bottom, you can see I've created two categories. This brings me to the next sort of thing I want to highlight here, which is when you go and look at this page, you'll see that there are already some labels here. These are the ones that come with Tableau by default. So it's actually not possible to delete these. You can see that these don't have a delete option. They've been grayed out, so you can't delete them. But when you create new ones, you can go ahead and delete those. So this one, for example, is one I created and you can see that I can actually delete it. So that's something to bear in mind. The final thing to know about this is when you go ahead and select all up here and then you see the actions option, it tells you that there's nothing you can do. And this is kind of like frustrating user interface because ultimately the reason you can't do anything with these is because you've selected some items that you can't delete or change because they're the default ones that come with Tableau. But it doesn't just stop there. Let me go ahead and clear all because if you go to these compliance ones, PHI and PII, if I go ahead and select these two and then I go back to actions, I still don't get an option there. So I don't quite understand what's going on with this sort of multi-selection and action setup. But I do know that look, if you select something that you've edited, you should be able to do this, edit and delete. So there's definitely a dynamic. Maybe there's some sort of um, issue with the ones that have custom categories and you can't just sort of go ahead and create those. But if you select multiple ones, for example, that have been created in the existing categories, then this actions option seems to work. Maybe it's a bug that's coming in the future. Now, the final thing that I don't see here that I think would be quite good is actually some way to sort this list. There's no sort of interactivity to sort this. And it might just be the version that I'm on. I'm using an old version of uh, Tableau Cloud that's had this version. So it might not be in the shipping version that everyone's seeing. So what I typically expect is the ability to sort of sort and filter and search for these maybe who's created them, some other metadata. But if that's not actually in the final release, then that's something I would love to see. And that would be really, really interesting to sort of add. It's kind of the thing you, you've come to expect. For example, what I'm specifically talking about is this stuff here, this kind of metadata, just what's contextual for data labels, the ability to sort and filter. You've got the same options over here on the left-hand side. So that's all I'm really sort of looking to see in this page, just to make it easier to work with. Now you can see there's a blue link here to this compliance item, but all that does is it enables the little pop-up and that just allows you to then go ahead and edit it if you need to. So that doesn't actually take you to a page for just those categories, but nonetheless, this is quite good because now you can start to see how these work. Now, adding data labels is not new. I've covered it before in many videos. And so let's just go have a look and see how this works because there's been an enhancement to this that I think is, again, slightly confusing. I didn't realize it until about 15 minutes ago when I started recording this video. So let's take a look at this. If we go to a list of data sources, let's go to one that I've used before, top salesperson. You'll see that it's got two classifications already. Uh, it's certified, which is uh, something that you can do to say this data source is good. And secondly, you've got sensitivity and there's two sensitivity labels. Now, 
it is possible to add multiple labels to one data source, but this one actually inherits two because further upstream, the data source connection, the virtual connection has a sensitivity label applied to it. And then this data source has its own sensitivity label applied to it. So it gets two sensitivity labels. And this is a more generic sensitivity label that came from a previous release. What we now have is the ability to actually give these names. And so if I go ahead and close this, we're going to add a label that we've created, a custom label. We'll go ahead and click on these three dots and you get this data labels options. Now, this is sort of an interesting interface because you've got the default ones, the certification, data quality warning, extract refreshes, and sensitivity labels. These just open up the standard interface for those items. This is not new. I've covered this before. But to access the custom ones, what you have to do is go to more data labels, go ahead and click on that, and then you get the option to see the labels. Now, you just get the labels, not the categories. And so if you see here, the custom category I created was called compliance, and the two labels in that are PHI and PII. So I can actually go ahead and select one and select add, and then you can go ahead and select another one and select add, and that is how you're adding multiple ones. You can add an additional message that's specific for this specific data source, so you can add some context and maybe something's happened or maybe you want to add a little bit more than what the sensitivity label gives you, so this is good. And again, this has the standard formatting you've come to expect, so uh, it's quite nice to be able to do that. If I just move this over to the left-hand side and you can see the formatting guide there, it works as you'd, as you'd think. So this is quite nice. You can also delete and remove them as well, so if I go ahead Ahead and do that. It does apply them. You can see there's little messages at the top saying it's been applied. You do have to refresh the page just to see that. I wish the page did that automatically. A little nice, uh, a little bit of a, a JavaScript wouldn't hurt there. But there you go. Um, you've got the new two compliance categories. So uh, I can really start to see organizations that have the data management add-on to use this feature being able to uh, start to really use these to color some context and give some context to their data sources. I think it's quite nice to see. I would also love the ability to change these colors. I kind of think the colors they give them are kind of boring. Tableau sort of hogged all the best colors for themselves. So um, that's kind of interesting. Sensitive data gets this nice, beautiful color, but all the others kind of get this nice weird gray. Um, so if there is a way to edit those, that would be great. You could also match that to colors within your organization, maybe make it more sort of organization specific. But there you go, that is data labels. Now, one last thing. I was trying to think, what other categories and labels would I create? And so, of course, I asked our best friend, ChatGPT, hey, what are some other compliance categories that you could recommend that are similar to PII? And it came solid. So PHI, protected health information, SPI, sensitive personal information, all of these really specific to certain industries and in some cases countries and in some cases legal context. So it really depends on the business. And I've also seen companies that come up with their own classifications and setups within their uh, set of the, the sort of remit of their organization. And so that's also quite good. And some industries sort of come together to form a standard as well. So there's lots of different cuts. Um, you're all going to know these for your own industry. So let me know what kind of labels you might be using in your organization below. Do any of these make sense to you? Is there one that's missing here that you think people should know about? That's what the comments are for. Let me know and I'll catch you in the next video.